So here's a, a cool uh, question you might ask yourself. If I have a deck of cards, how many shuffles does it take to mix a deck of cards? Well, one of the very recent results, by recent I mean in the last uh, 30 years, is the result that it takes seven shuffles to mix a deck of cards. And what's amazing is I can actually pretty easily show you that five shuffles are not enough to mix a deck. And I, I'll see if I can do that right now. This probably, this may take too long, but we'll try it anyways. Um, so when you mix a deck of cards with a, with a riffle shuffle, you often take a, de a, a, a deck and you cut it and then you interleave the halves. But the halves may not be the same size, and they might interleave in sort of a, 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 you know, a funny way, right? Okay. But one thing you do know about when you shuffle is that after one shuffle, what you end up getting are basically, you know, if the original deck were, were numbered 1 through 52, then the new deck is going to have two sequences in it, this one and this one, that are interleaved in some way. And if I count through the deck in order 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 52, I would need to pass through the deck twice to hit every card in order. So that's a property of a shuffled deck that's been sh uh, shuffled once. Now, if I cut this deck again, then those sequences, are called rising sequences, are going to split again. And I might have what are called four rising sequences. And if I cut the deck again and shuffle, I'll have eight. And so what you learn is after three shuffles, you might have eight rising sequences. After four, you might have 16. After five, you might have 32 rising sequences. But then you can just check that the deck, in reverse order, actually has 52 rising sequences. So the reversed deck can't be the result of five shuffles. Now, I probably didn't tell you all the details in there, but it's kind of amazing that just by using the power of your mind, you can see, if you think about it a little bit, that five shuffles are not enough to reverse a deck, much less make every configuration equally likely. So that's kind of nifty, right? Like it's like, whoa, I didn't even need to actually shuffle any decks for me to have an insight uh, that shows something about um, how cards shuffle. <laughs>